Hey, everybody, we want to welcome you back to another edition of The Printer and the Suit. Today, we are broadcasting live from our Canadian office in Montreal. I'm sitting here with our uh, master of ceremonies, Mr. Kevin Abrigel. How you doing, Warren? I'm doing pretty good, my friend. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for coming to uh, visit us in Canada. Of course. I absolutely love the headquarters here, buddy. It's not, I mean, all we have is a room, but it's, uh, you know, <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> Gotta start, start. somewhere. <laughs> so uh, I thought on this episode of Printer in the Suit, we'd make it about us and right. uh, talk about, you know, a little bit of what we're doing or trying to do. So uh, I'll get right into it. So my first question to you is, why did we start? No, actually, why did you start Tactiful? Why did I start Tactiful? I started Tactiful, Warren, because I absolutely love uh, digital embellishment. You know, it's been something that's been in my blood uh, from the earliest days when we, you know, when we really, really in almost invented that that technology, I was in the room. Uh, and so I've seen it grow through all the different growing pains. I've seen what people have done with it to make it successful. I've seen people uh, do it not successfully. Uh, and once, you know, once I decided to start Tactiful and go out on my own, I think in my heart, there was some kind of responsibility for me, uh, that I felt that I had to go out there and continue to, to teach people how to be successful with this technology, uh, to make money with this technology, grow their businesses, uh, with their technology. Cause I believe in it so hard. Uh, and so I think that's really what it is. And, and we were able to, we were able to, to really start to pull on so many experiences, whether it's our team or whether it's what we've seen in the past or people that we've talked to, uh, to grow the knowledge base and really get a good understanding of how to make this profitable business uh, for people who are in it. Awesome. What did you join? Honestly? Yeah. I joined, well, so to be really straight and brutally honest, I joined... Uh, and it's not to toot your horn or your head to blow up any bigger than it already is, but you are the guy who knows the most about embellishments in this industry. You and the family were there at the beginning, and there's some other competitors, but you were there ground level. You've been building it up. Um, I used to be on the print side of things, and uh, I figured, oh, my God, I can't get out of print. I'm not starting another printing company. I don't have that much energy. But if I could assist and work with you with this new area of embellishment, sexy print, um, on the printer side, I want to make sure that every printer is knows what they're doing, is profitable, and has a real running chance, right? And, and then the other thing is, um, I know that when I used to buy equipment, uh, dealing with the manufacturers, um, I was never really happy with what I got from them. Right. Not the equipment, but on the learning side. But the truth be told, and everyone needs to know this, the right. manufacturers are there to sell us the equipment and the tools. They're not there to train and teach us. Right? It's not their job. Kind of like, well, it's like going to buy a car. You buy the car. Exactly. You don't ask the car salesman after to teach you how to drive. Exactly. Exactly. You, the, you actually go to the driving school first, get right. your license, and then buy the car. Right. But as a guy on the street, uh, as a printer, I know what I needed. I know what I could use. And I hope that the people we're going to work with on the print side uh, are going to be open to, you know, what we have to offer because we know. And on the OEM side, uh, we're not here to take sides on the equipment. The truth is all the equipment out there today is pretty good. Uh, different people like different things, have different purposes totally. and different needs. We're not selling equipment. We want to make sure that the OEMs are as successful. At the end of the day, I want to see our customers' customers successful because if they're successful making money, they'll want more from the printer. The printer's going to make money. If the printer's making money, the OEM is laughing his head off. Exactly. Exactly. At the end of the day, look, like you said, we're not really taking sides. When we go and we work with a printer, he's already bought the machine. Uh, so we're coming after that sales process. We're coming in to teach them how to be successful, whatever machine they have, uh, to be able to grow the market. And I think, you know, fundamentally, we talk about our mission statement is really about bringing the people and the experience and the tools and the knowledge and giving that to the people uh, to be able to grow the market. So 
really, when you think about what we're trying to do at Tactical, at the fundamental level, yes, we want people to be successful with it. But even further down, we want the, them to be successful with it because we want to grow digital embellishment as a market segment. We really believe that there's good margins to be made here. It's exciting. Brands love it. Kids love it. People in the stores love it. People in the mailbox when they're getting their stuff love it. When they see a business card, when it's inspiring. And it's just that level of passion that we have for it that we want to see this grow. I want to stop the negativity and the bitching in our industry from all the whiners and complainers. I want to show everybody that they could do it, that we could work together. If we work together on the same path, we put out the same message, we then own our industry. Yeah. It's, I don't want the customer to win because we're lowballing each other. There's no room for that. And as the world changes, we can't do that. That's right. Anyways, enough of that with me. Uh, tell me about the team you assembled. It's like uh, it's like an all-star team, man. My favorite thing about Tactiful is the team that we have. You look at everybody. Like, I'll go through the team right now. Like, obviously, we'll get to you. Last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Water boy. We're a bit running you alphabetically. I'm sure you're not used to going last. But uh, <laughs> I think if you, you look at the team that we've put together, people like uh, Matt Redbear, who is a really well-known designer uh, for embellishment, who's also an operator who runs this type of technology every single day, what he's bringing to the team from file design, from an operation, people like Ken Heizenga, uh, who uh, who were one of the first people to buy digital embellishment in North America, uh, has 10 years of experience, has 35 years of experience running a print shop, but almost 10 years of experience uh, a bringing digital embellishment to market as one of the first ones. He's on our team. Uh, we have people like uh, Carlo Ruas. Carlo Ruas worked for Indigo as a technician. He worked at Heidelberg. He's head of service. Uh, he's worked at Konica Minolta, ran the IP division for uh, uh, for Mexico. Uh, and he is doing phenomenal things that we can't even talk about yet. Hopefully in a couple of months, we'll, we'll, we'll show you what we're working on. But he is going to change the game with what we're doing uh, on a software so standpoint. We have people like Joanne Gore who understand marketing, who understands messaging, who understands the ability to market yourself and how to get yourself in front of your brands that you're trying to get in front of your customers. How quickest to get way to money out. is what she always says. Yeah, quickest way to money. She's really good at that. She helps us craft a message. Uh, we have people like Yoshi uh, Ishii in Japan, uh, somebody who was at the fundamental base level uh, in the understanding of bringing embellishments to Japan uh, when he was with Konica Minolta. Uh, and then obviously we have you, the print whisperer, uh, somebody who has brought a print shop from nothing to something, somebody who's lived it, somebody who uh, has gone through all the throes of being a printer, understands the challenges as an owner. Uh, and I think you look at the team, fundamentally our skill set, nobody has the same skill set. And fundamentally, nobody has the same type of personality. So I would almost say we've assembled. Thank God. Yeah, thank God. Uh, we've assembled like the perfect team. We have like an Avengers type team where no matter what you need, we're going to pull in somebody from our team to help you uh, with that need, whether it's on a technical side, a file design side, a sales side, a marketing side, a go-to-market side, a pricing side, an estimating side, everything is is being is being held by people who have done it and have a lot of experience in it in a very particular part of the market, which is digital embellishment. So for me, my pride and joy, it's not the logo, it's not the names, it's not... My pride and joy is the, the team that we've assembled. That's what makes me happy. That's what makes me smile when I go to sleep at night. Amazing. Well, I'm, I'm very excited. Very excited for this. Yeah. Have you ever seen, like, honestly, you've been in this for a while. You've been a printer. Uh, you've been in the industry for a long time. Have you ever seen kind of this kind of a, of a team that's been put together? No. I've never had anybody come to me uh, from any company, any group, with so many uh, real experts, mm. right? Living on the street, knuckles dragging on the ground when they're working. Um, we've got the OEM guy. We got the print guy. We got the design guy, the marketing person, woman. We've got the, the, the IT software person. We've got our mentor, Yoshi, who's 
seen more than we could even remember, imagine. Um, and then when we go out, really, we're going out with, we're going out honestly to work with people. You know, let's not kid ourselves. This is a business we're setting up because we want to make money. But the only way we're going to make money is if the customers we have are successful. Of course. And uh, at this stage of the game, for me, I'm not looking to bash my head against the wall. So for the printers who are open and want to work with us, uh, they're going to love it. For well, those, I mean, let me, let me ask you a sorry, question. For those that don't, we're just not going to go there. I mean, we've already been working with some printers. We're, we're going to be bringing a lot of this stuff. Uh, 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 we're going to be announcing some of the cases. What has been your reaction to their reaction of working with us so far? So uh, I'm not going to mention any names yet. We'll mention them later. But uh, we're working with one individual now who, when we started working with him, after our first session, our first <clears throat> one hour, and you'll talk about our eight yep. program after the first hour they said to us oh my god in a year that i've had this i didn't know any of this and in one hour you have just given me a new vision outlook and a game-changing plan mm. and then session two and three with them and other members of their team it's just been rolling right right and the truth is they're a good company but most companies don't have the time, energy, resources, financial, and human to do everything that has to be done. Right. So the fact that we could dummy it down and make it simple and say to them, okay, this is the five things to do. They don't have to try 20. Right. So I, I really think that we just are going to add, I don't know, I'm off question, but we're going to add tremendous value to people that can use it. Right. Well, I mean, fundamentally, they're going to figure all this stuff out. But instead of spending five years to figure it out, you do mm. it. In, you do it in two months with us. And I think well, they don't have five years because that's how long the lease payments are on the machine. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, I mean, you know, that's what we do. Oh, um, we just did, I believe, the first time that OEMs have participated with a company. And that would be us. We right. just did a special to ink toter study. Tell me about that. Oh, yeah, the specialty ink and toner study. So, oh, yeah. Okay. You slipped your mind. So, listen, Warren, it's really simple. It's, um, you know, the word embellishment and specifically digital embellishment is now starting to take new meaning. What is the definition? You know, up till now, we've always figured and talked in the media. Digital embellishment is inkjet, varnish, foil, MGI, Skodix, Konica, Duplo, that kind of thing. Anything uh, other than CMYK. Right. Well, yeah. Now that's, that's a little bling. Right. That is kind of blingy, but it was really almost kind of stuck to the inkjet side. What what we started to see is, you know what, there's a whole other part of the market that needs to come under this umbrella of digital embellishment. And that's all the specialty colors uh, that you can do in line with the digital printing uh engines um people from hp and xerox and rico with the whites and the neons and the golds and the silvers and the clears uh, and being able to do lots of different things with that and what we analyzed is that overall in just our conversations we realized people all had a lot of these options but maybe barring the white they weren't actively trying to use it or sell it to create profit. So it was one of those situations where people had it, but it was like a nice to have. They weren't fully utilizing it. So we got together with what they think and we went out and the OEMs helped us uh, ping their customers. We sent them like a 40 question survey, which Warren, remind me next time we do a survey, let's cut it off at 10 questions because 40, I think, was. Wait a second. I think I said to you at the beginning, maybe it shouldn't be 40 because as an owner, I hated answering so many questions. Right, right. But we got 150 people to fill it out, which was amazing uh, to fill out a 40. So and openly and honestly. Openly and honestly. Look, there's nothing to hide. Uh, and at the end of the day, they gave us really a clear understanding of what the market was going on, what was going through, what their obstacles were, were, what were their sales obstacles, what were their objections that they couldn't overcome with their clients, what were the best applications for it, are they happy with the sales, are they ha happy with the profits, how much training were they putting their people through, what effect did the training have, and when we cross-tabulated it, 
What did that look like when you looked at the sales and the profits? Or did you make a business plan? How did that cross tap to the sales and profits? Uh, or do you do a lot of self-promotional materials? How did that cross tap to the sales and profits? So we were able to really gather a lot of really nice information. Uh, we put it together in a report with what they think. It's absolutely groundbreaking. I think this is the most in-depth study that exists out there on this very particular part of the market. Uh, so if you're an OEM in this market where you have an additional color, or if you're a printer that has an additional color uh, or colors in your, your digital printing embellishment, uh, your digital printing press, this is really a report that kind of will open your eyes as to what other people are doing with it and get a clear understanding of where the opportunities are. Okay, commercial time for a moment. We yep. have those reports available if anybody would like to know uh, anything, full reports, reports with webinars. So just give us a call, reach out, we'll tell you more about it. And I'll say this, if you've spent a few hundred thousand dollars on equipment, uh, not to spend $500 or $1,000 on the report, as a printer, you're not being smart. That I have to tell you point blank. Once you made the investment, find out what the rest of the industry and from the survey thinks about it. Um, one, give me the number one thing that you walked away with from the survey. I'll, and I'll, or not, after, I'll give you mine if it's not Me personally, yours. I don't know. It might be the same one. But for me was when we were able to cross tab the effect that how much sales training have you put your people through and what that effect was on sales satisfaction and profit satisfaction. And for me, the one thing that stood out is the people who put their people through very much training, so a high level of sales training, uh, had a twofold increase in satisfaction with the sales and a threefold increase in the satisfaction of the profits of their specialty toners. So really the one thing that jumped out at me at the, that whole study, and there's a lot of good stuff, was if, you know, the, the training had a direct uh, correlation uh, to satisfaction in sales and, and with profits. How about you? So, uh, same as you, but the other thing in layman's terms, that uh, in printer terms that jumped out at me, uh, two thirds of the people with the equipment were satisfied and would buy it again. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that just means that they see the value. Uh, they need some help maybe getting it up there. Yep. They see the value and their uh, customers see the value. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, anyways, I'm really super, uh, super excited to be out there helping people succeed in a new area because we're not going to be regurgitating garbage like a lot of other things that get done year after year with nothing being done. So, Warren, we're coming out. We got a fresh approach on things. We're doing things differently because we're not consultants, but we're consultants. We've, we're not legacy consultants we're doing our own way we're doing it in a way where we're just getting experts together and telling you how it is how do you see this thing playing out well number one if you're dealing with me and you can't handle the truth then you don't want to deal with me because i don't, <laughs> want, I don't, want, to be I don't want no i don't want to be disrespectful to anyone right. but we don't nobody has the time to play games anymore i agree so right. i just want to you know do that how do i see it playing out uh, I see it playing out in a way that um, we're going to be working with the OEMs. They're going to be using us to communicate some messaging with their customers. I see printers reaching out to us because they're going to want some independent help. Right. They're going to want to do things. Uh, I want everyone to know that you know we're not lawyers, but we're like your lawyer and that everything is confidential. We are going to be so clean with everyone and what we do uh, because we... We want to be number one in this area of making this a successful sure. uh, area within the world of print. Sexy, but as sexy a print, print is, but as a print, like, do you feel printers might have a reticence to admit that they don't know everything? Do they have a reticence to actually bring in experts or consultants? Like, would you have brought in consultants in the past, for example? I had no problem bringing in consultants from the day I got into print. Right. Being a little different, obviously, than everybody else. Right. Uh, my my goal in the beginning was always to surround myself with people better and smarter than me to minimize the mistakes. So be it print industry groups, uh, be it the entrepreneur organization to learn how to run a business that's not just in general. So, yeah, I'm all I'm always about it's cheaper to bring in somebody to help you quickly than to go learn on your own. And not just monetarily with the people you have and, and, and the waste and everything, right? No. It's, just, it's just better. So um, I'm pretty confident. 
And I just hope that if you're out there, you call us quick enough so that we don't book up and you have to wait. That's right. That's right. Very good. Very good, Warren. Any any final words other than like, I'm just so excited I can barely contain myself? I will Thanks. tell you, though, I'm really not comfortable in a jacket. Really? I'm missing my jacket. I'm missing my suit, man. This is Freaky Friday all over again, right? This is uh, like a Disney movie. This is the Disney movie. Uh, parting words, listen, man. Warren, you know what we're working on. Everybody at Tactiful knows what we're working on. We're going to have a phenomenal amount of really game-changing things that we're going to be announcing in the next couple of months. One of those things that we're going to be bringing to market very quickly is going to be an introductory stabilizer course if you will it's going to be an eight week session it's one hour a week every week we approach a different part of what you need to make digital embellishment successful with you yep there it is oh my gosh that's that's funny with the green screen maybe there's an oh that's funny yeah yeah okay well <laughs> we'll post it we'll this post one right here yeah, oh, i got one right here yeah. yeah so listen we're going to be launching this soon we're still uh, finishing up this beta with lots of different clients right now. We're we're finalizing it, we're refining it. It's really coming out to be spectacular. It's eight weeks, one hour a week with us. Every week we attach, we we go after something different. Yes, Warren. Just give me very quickly in, in point form, roughly the eight weeks, the headings. Okay, so for sure we have uh, introduction to digital print embellishment. We go after why it's important, what your clients need to know, why the differentiation, how it could change you in the uh, uh, in the in the conversation. We talk about marketing strategies. We talk about sales strategies. We talk about tips and tricks for estimating, uh, for quoting, for pricing, for uh, designing. We talk about production. We talk about uh, tips, tricks, and hacks. We talk about messaging. We talk about quality control. We talk about how to upsell. There's lots of different things. And, and really the way that it works is that, you know, you take your our intake form at the beginning, you fill it out, uh, and we spend an hour with you going through the intake form. And maybe you don't need any help with, uh, with quality control. Maybe you don't need any help with designing. Maybe you don't need any help with sales or marketing. And what we do is we really put one hour a week. You spend time, there's Warren, there's me, there's one of our experts that comes in from Tactical Team uh, to help shore up where you need help and create that idea of a strategy so that after eight weeks, if you want to keep us on for for another eight weeks or another 12 weeks, please do, please do. No problem. But after eight weeks, you'll have stabilized and understand what your approach to market should look like. You have tips and tricks from the best in the biz on how to make it successful. Uh, and the idea is it's it's only $3,500. For $3,500, you have eight weeks worth of time, homework, experts, thinking, brainstorming, uh, and explaining, and case studies, and all the things that we show you that work, that don't work, and everything in between. So it's, for me, an absolutely, it's a no-brainer. It makes life easy for people who want to be successful with this. And whether you are just bought a machine and you don't know where to start, you're thinking about buying a machine and you want to, to get started, or if you had a machine for a while, but you need to refreshen up and you need to almost press the reset button and start all over again, that's who these this is for. So it's a introductory eight weeks with us. You're really going to learn a lot. And so far, uh, the clients who've been doing that have been raving about this product uh, that we're bringing to market. And I'll tell you that I've never seen anything like this in all my years. I won't say how many. Right. where it's been collectively i did all that on my own learning to put together right. it took years yeah so uh to anyone out there just give us a call if you're not sure for a conversation that's it yeah that's I it anyway so yeah okay we're gonna cut this one what a what a great addition of the printer in the suit i want my sweatshirt back i want my jacket back i don't know if it'll fit <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, this jacket won't fit you, but and that sweatshirt won't fit me. But uh, I'll go back to you know put in the uniform. Amen. Uh, everybody listening, we really appreciate it. We hope you're as excited as we are after uh, what you just listened to. Uh, reach out to us, question, thought, email, find us. You know where to find us. We're all over the place, and uh, we want this industry to shine. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks again. Ciao.